the pro-life issue is one of the seminal reasons I'm a Republican. I, I was a Democrat coming out of college, and the party just no longer seemed to care about the issue. Here's the thing, every individual, from the moment of conception to your last moments of breath on earth, you deserve dignity. And you know, it's interesting, I, I sometimes hear people who are gonna allow abortions for disabilities, and I think, well, I mean, who of us is not disabled in some fashion? Who of us does not have some imperfection? The, the fact of the matter is, is we're all God's creatures, right? Um, and I, I just think that the, the unborn baby is really the most vulnerable amongst us. You know, my understanding is, is that uh, within a very short period of time, each unborn child has a heartbeat, can feel pain, has all of their organs, their hands, their feet. That, that baby's really someone that needs protected. Now, do not get me wrong. I understand, I understand that, you know, they're tough decisions, but this is a life. And what we want is, is we want to get more moms to recognize that they have support and love in the community, and that will help. My wife, Lydia, uh, volunteered at the Rosalia Center for Unwed Mothers. She's a pediatrician and wants to provide them care. In the end, if we can convince everybody of the dignity of that, of that child, and how important it is to bring that child into the world, and to let them see the graciousness of life, every life matters. It's about the moral framework for which our democracy stands upon. Really, in, in the end, every person has dignity, no matter what your background, no matter what your religion, no matter where you come from. Every person has dignity, and that begins with the unborn child. I'm not a preachy person on this issue. I don't like to castigate people. I think we need to bring people in and try to convert them and try to understand the importance of respect for life. That's my approach.